Hello everyone. My name is Andre Morissette and welcome to this uh, presentation. Uh, I'm the CEO of Campagna Motors and Campagna Motors USA and I'm here today with David No, who is Vice President. Welcome to this seminar and thank you for taking the time off your daily schedule to assist to this presentation. In the next slides, I will present the business plan and the investment opportunity offered by Campagna Motors USA. You can pose questions by using the Q&A button on your screen. I will either reply directly in the slide or after the presentation, depending on the question. We should be wrapped up in about 30 to 40 minutes. So without further ado, let's start. Let's talk about the need that we're answering. The market for the trike is evolving with the needs of the biggest wave of the population, the baby boomers and Generation X. Baby boomers have real buying power compared to younger generations and satisfying their needs always helps a company expand its market. That is why for the past, for the last few years, the trike sales have been the force behind the growth of the motorcycle industry worldwide. As people get older, they want their recreational activities to be fun and safe. In the motorcycle world, this translates in having the performance and freedom of a motorcycle combined with the stability and safety of a car. Baby boomers are ideal for the trike market in terms of their needs and their high buying power as trikes are priced higher than traditional motorcycles. That is exactly what our products are offering. An amazing ride, performance, stability, and safety by design. Campagna Motors has been making the most exciting and safest trike on the planet since 1988. We've been following a really simple philosophy in three points. Add lightness to gain performance. Make it safe and solid by design and engineering. And put the driver as a first priority to maximize his experience. We have been a niche player in this emerging industry and we have plans to grow as a leader in this market. At Campagna Motors, we have focused on high-end portion of the market for both quality and performance. We've always used high-tech material like carbon fiber, composites, aluminum, and other lightweight materials throughout our vehicles, and advanced engineering to create state-of-the-art reverse trikes that offer amazing performances. I see in the... Um, the crowd here, we have some customers, so I'm sure they can uh, witness to that. Now, with our US affiliate, we're taking our philosophy in design and engineering to a whole new level. Through its association with Campagna Motors, Campagna Motors USA is designing a new entry-level trike priced at less than $30,000. Nothing else come close to it in terms of performance, quality, and driving experience for the money. We have the experience and expertise to design the most exciting machines that everyone can afford. We've been doing this for 20 years. We won't compromise on quality or craftsmanship, but instead use our design and engineering principles to achieve a best of class machine that aims to attract the younger generation because of their price and performance. Campagna Motors trikes have been the reference in the market for over 20 years. Now we're on a mission to dominate the market. With the appropriate funding, we estimate that we'll be able to offer the new vehicle for sale in the US as soon as 2019. This significantly fuels the growth plan. Now, let's talk about the market and where it's heading. The world trike market is divided in three key regions, 
There's North America, Europe, and Asia Pacific that we see as APAC on the map. While North America represents about 70% of the world market from, August, from 2015 until 2020, the US accounts for the biggest chunk of that potential, obviously. It's interesting to note that the US has 30% of its population in the baby boomer segment, and people above 50 years old control over 77% of total net worth in the nation. Roughly 4 million baby boomer were added in 2016 in the US only. That's quite a market. We have already tens of thousands of fans and also currently thousands of existing clients all over the US and Canada. Our plans are to expand across the US on a rapid pace with both channel growth and new products. The trike market is expected to double in size between 2015 and 2020 to over 143,000 units. The OEM, which is where we are, portion of this market is expected to be at over 112,000 units. Currently, there are four key players in this market. Of course, Harley-Davidson is the number one with its motorcycle trikes. Then comes BRP with the Spider, who by the way sold about $300 million of sale in 2015 only in the trike business. I'm not counting on, on any of their other businesses. Then there's Polaris with its slingshot, who by the way had a, a record breaking of more than 10,000 units sold in their first year after their launch. And then finally there's us, Campania Motors, with our T-Rex and V13. We've been at the high-end niche market uh, of this uh, niche of this, this market. We believe that with the proper financing, we can build the right vehicle and the right channel to capture our share of this growing trend. We are focused on the trike market. We live and breathe trikes. We're not doing anything else but trikes. And we think that our focus combined with our experience and the brand loyalty our products command are key success factors. Now let's see how we fare about with the competition. Today, our trike compete with both cars and other trikes. Because of our design, configuration, and performance, we offer a car-like experience. Unlike some of our competitors that have limited performance due to the design of their trike. For example, the BRP Spider configuration makes it more like a summertime snowmobile than a sports vehicle. It lacks in performance and stability because of its design and the seating position that put the center of gravity of the vehicle very high. On the other hand, the Polaris Slingshot, which has a similar configuration to our trikes, but has a weight surplus of almost 800 pounds compared to our vehicles. That's almost twice the weight of the T-Rex. This and the combination of uh, cheaper materials and car engine without much soul in it offers a lame experience compared to our current vehicles. The current Campania T-Rex and V13R offer supercar performance for the fraction of a cost of a supercar and the open air freedom of a motorcycle with the stability of a car and the safety of a crash tested tubular frame, which no motorcycle in the world can offer. They attract both the older generation of baby boomers that want the adrenaline of a sporty ride and the affluent younger generation that wants to have a distinctive and powerful sports car. All this in a high-end package. With Campania Motors USA, we're developing this brand new, more affordable performance reverse trike. Campania Motors USA should be positioned to rapidly grow its customer base, favorably competing with lower priced, lower quality, and lower performance trike. I will now walk you through some of the characteristics of Campania Motors Canada current model, which Campania Motors USA will also be selling, servicing, and renting. 
Our flagship vehicle is obviously the T-Rex, known by a lot of people, and the standard and reference in the trike market for 21 years. A lot of people try to imitate the T-Rex, but we, we, we're the original. It's the Porsche GT3 of trikes with acceleration, cornering ability, and handling no other trike can match. It's not your summertime snowmobile other people make. And again, as I was saying, it's almost half the weight of the Polaris slingshot. All that, it's in a very tight package made with premium material and it has a timeless design that evolved over the years. With the best specs on the market for performance and road handling, nothing else comes close to it. The experience of this ride stands out from anything you've ever had. It's as close as driving your own personal Formula One for the road. It's been reviewed by many car magazines and has had amazing reviews, comparing, comparing, comparing it sorry, favorably to high-end supercars, again, at a fraction of the price. On the other side of the spectrum, the V13R can be described as the roadster with an attitude. Powered by a genuine Harley-Davidson motor, it's an open-top vehicle and represents a unique roadster. Designed with the Harley-Davidson customer in mind, this strike can easily be customized to fit your unique style. For example, changing the exhaust, which is a typical um, something that uh, people do on the Harley, is only a 10-minute job. It's not made for the racetrack. Instead, it's made for the fun ride by the beach, cruising downtown at night, or a good Sunday morning drive on your favorite back road. Campania Motors Canada has the advantage of having been in the trike business for over 20 years. We have the experience to design, build, and deliver superior product of excellent quality that offer the greatest performance. Our assembly plant in Canada has a capacity of about 3,000 vehicles a year. We expect to implement the same processes in our plant in the U.S. to be able to efficiently assemble the new trike with the same precision, rigor, and efficiency that we've implemented in our actual plant. Our manufacturer principles are based on Kaizen processes and continuous improvement method. We aim to leverage that experience to implement in the U.S. As for sales, Campania Canada currently has retail partners in the U.S., but the company's reach is limited, and in some cases, not very effective. Right now, you can buy a Companion Motors Canada vehicle in the U.S. through a limited numbers of multi-brand retailers. We want to transform the entire way people experience Companion Motors from the second they step into a store. We plan our plan to open up corporate retail location that enable, enables us to bring a truly unique experience to customer in the States, much, li much like Tesla has done one in which it's easier for customer to come across Campania and one that is tailored toward the kind of people who love Campania product. We believe that our vehicles are unique and that our customer want to see that well represented and have a unique and exciting purchasing experience as well. This new channel is one of the key elements in our growth strategy. Let's talk about the traction we have. With thousands of vehicles on the road today and a 20 plus year track record of performance, quality and style, we believe Campania is poised to create a big hit with its next generation trike priced for everyone to enjoy. Currently, Campania Motors Canada presence in North America is ranked highest than anywhere else in the world. That's where we do our business. We want to reinforce our leadership and grow in the US and open boutique stores and franchises as well an assembly plant right here in the US to build the next generation trike to our US affiliate. The next generation Campania USA trike is to be made for the US by the US in the US. This is value creation for the US. The development of the intellectual property are to be owned by Campania Motors USA and the corporate stores also. This plan should create jobs and value in the USA. Now, let me show you some example of uh, exciting traction that we get. 
We've used at Campania Motors Canada celebrity engagement to build awareness to our vehicles. And to date, these celebrities have been public about their ownership or use of either T-Rex or V13R. In fact, we never had to pay for any endorsement, which is a big testimony to the popularity and just how attractive these vehicles are really are. Just to name a few of the celebrities who either own a Campania T-Rex or V13R, we have here Chris Letang, which is a Canadian professional ice hockey defenseman. He's currently playing in for the Pittsburgh Penguins on the NHL. We've, uh, we've all seen uh, his ad on the Super Bowl uh, last Sunday, but Justin Bieber has a, uh, a special edition T-Rex offered to him by Rob Durdeck, which is an MTV TV show host uh, called Fantasy Factory. The T-Rex was also used in a Black Eyed Peas video, music video. The Black Eyed Peas is a very popular American music group that has received six Grammy Awards and six NRG Awards. Uh, for the record, they have over 44 million followers on Facebook. We've also been featured in uh, multiple reviews um, and at the uh, Jay Leno's Garage, we had a, uh, a review of the T-Rex and we also had a review of the uh, V13R and actually one of the comments of Jay Leno was you guys in, in uh, Canada make the perfect California car. That's interesting. And uh, finally, uh, least, last but not least, we have uh, Nicki Minaj, who is the American singer and songwriter that accumulated 60 awards and 19 nomination, uh, 119 nominations over the year. She has 42 million followers on Facebook and she used the T-Rex in music videos and also as gift to her boyfriends. Other celebrities bought our vehicle Amongst them are Chris Angel, the American magician and illusionist. Uh, we have Antoine Randall L, a former American football player who was a, right, a wide receiver in the NFL for nine seasons, and a lot more. So, okay, enough fun for now. Let's talk about numbers now. This slide is a summary of our growth plan in the U.S. Our growth is forecasted to come from two main strategic strategies that work hand in hand. The next generation trike that we are going to be pricing at around $30,000 and the channel expansion to have about 100 locations across the US. For the locations, we have planned to establish 40 corporate boutique stores that will sell, service, and rent Campania Motors product only. These are to be located in major urban areas that have the socio-demographic model that can support a boutique. We want to have 60 franchisee stores in other locations for a total of about 100 sales location by 2020, selling around 10,000 units a year. It might sound like a uh, very aggressive growth rate, but it only comes close to the actual numbers of other OEMs that have product that are less interesting than the ones we're going to be coming out with. Um, so these stores, again, we're, we're, are going to offer, of course, the trike for purchase along with retail financing. They will be able to get, uh, customer will be able to get service for and parts and maintenance on the and repair at these uh, stores. And obviously an interesting thing also, we're going to be doing daily rental at these store. It's very important to note that the rental business model is very attractive as it allows a prospective customer to try before they buy while providing a significant revenue stream to each store. Our experience in Canada tells us that once people experience the thrill of the ride and the wow factor of our trikes, they're hooked. The following slide goes into more details about revenues and costs. This table is a forecast of the potential revenues and costs associated with the distribution, assembly, and retail operation of Campania Motors USA. As you can see, things start to pick up with the launch of the new trike in 2019. The development of both the new vehicle and the network of retailers are key in order to be able to achieve 
significant sales volume in 2019, 2020, and forward. Here are the two individuals that basically are at the, uh, the source of that project. David No and I have been vested in the strategic development and operations of Campania since 2008. Personally, I had a previous venture in IT that I grew from zero to about $80 million in sales, and I sold. We believe that we have the right strategic plan to grow the business and create value for the shareholders. That concludes the presentation. Thank you for taking the time in your schedule to learn more about Companion Motors and our investment opportunity. I'm gonna take some questions if there are some questions here that, uh, okay, no, no open questions. If you have uh, people, if you have questions, feel free to uh, punch them in. Uh, if you like what you saw, go now on startengine.com and click the invest now button. This opportunity for investment in Campania Motors USA will be closing on February 28. So, there's no questions, I guess. Uh, this, this, uh, yeah, the, um, I got a quick reminder here, this, uh, this presentation will be uploaded to the, um, to the, um, the web uh, to, to our YouTube and uh, be able to watch online and also to the uh, start engine page. Um, so, uh, um, and there's a question from user one here. Uh, the minimum investment, there's a question, um, a minimum investment in the, uh, the current campaign is a $200. So it's really, uh, we really, we think it's very affordable. Uh, here's a question here. It's, are uh, yeah, there's a question here. We have obviously a lot of Canadian uh, customers and fans. Uh, at this point, unfortunately, the uh, the investment for technical reasons and regulations from the SEC is only open to uh, U.S. citizens. Um, the we uh, we expect that the next round of financing will be open to people around the world, uh, but uh, right now, unfortunately, people in Canada are, are not able to invest. Um, uh, thank you for the comments, Mark. Uh, um, the, um, I'm interested in how dealers floor plan this product. Uh, there's different things, there's different way to floor plan uh, this product and uh, with uh, different companies that are specialized in the recreational vehicle floor planning. So, uh, Again, it's all a question of, uh, of being, it, it's actually a matter of being listed in all the books, you know, like the um, NADA, uh, Kelly Blue Books and all that, and having the, uh, the floor plan agreement with different organizations, so. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, some, somebody is asking, when would the entry level be presented as an, as an investor? Um, the, the, uh, we're going to be, um, one thing you got to know about the campaign motors, we don't want to present things that are not uh, concrete final and stuff like that. We're not into trying to create false hype. So the uh, next generation trike will be presented uh, whenever it's ready to be presented and launched. Uh, we're not going to send just uh, CAD drawings and stuff like that in, in the market to create um, to create hype, uh, the and perks. Somebody's asking about perks. Uh, there is a uh, there's not really any perks per se in this round of financing. The um, the interesting thing is this: um, investing now, you're investing at under uh, conditions that are going to be uh, more interesting than the next round. That's the strategy in investment. Is for instance, valuation goes up and and uh, uh, so it's better to invest early in, in any business. Obviously, we're talking about an investment in share in stock. So uh, people, uh, people who are saying sometimes, you know, what's the guarantee? What's the return on the investment? The return on the spent, an investment is the appreciation of the value of their shares. And the appreciation of the value of their share goes hand in hand with the, the value of the company, obviously. 
and the value of a company is measured by its uh, ability to generate profits. Um, so, um, um, how do you how will you compete in the Polaris uh, sold at lower price? You think they're selling vehicles now at a loss? You sell uh, initially vehicles at a loss. Our strategy is not to sell vehicles at a loss. Um, you know, to be able to compete with uh, with the slingshot, I think we have to stick to our DNA, uh, make uh, vehicles that are um, tight packages. You know, we don't want to make a big, um, a lousy vehicle. We we stick with um, engines that rev higher. We we have a uh, uh, very uh, big tendency to have sequential shifting, which provides an amazing ride because of the quickness at which you can upshift and downshift. Uh, and we're always um, focusing at uh, having lightweight vehicles that um, are very, very, very rugged and very sturdy, uh, sturdy and that provide a, a very, very good uh, driving experience. The um, so we're not and, and we have with the proper funding we can invest in the right toolings to be able to produce um, at a much lower cost the vehicles that we uh, we have uh, in design and also uh, with the right channel the uh, 100 uh, point of sale that we want to establish that can uh, justify and, and make the volume happen so um, you know lowering cost is is always a volume situation. Let me get for um, Stefan about the number of dealer is open. Um, I'm not sure I understand the, the question. Uh, right now we have about five, six dealers in the US. Again, as I said, um, that are selling uh, different things than they're selling companion motor stuff, but they're also selling uh, multi-brand uh, product. And we think that having special vehicles that have a unique appeal, uh, it's important to have a, uh, a focus in sale as well as focus in, in, uh, in production. And for that, that's why we want to create the, uh, the boutique. We believe that when we have a customer coming in a Campania boutique, um, they'll be, um, they'll be you know, in, in the environment where they can experience uh, what it is our product. And uh, so it's better like that. Uh, Christian, uh, no, no, Christian, uh, two hundred dollars is uh, is actually a uh, hundred shares, not one share. The shares are two dollars each. Um, Chris asks asks us if we are going to eventually manufacture our own uh, motor. Uh, Chris, uh, we're not manufacturing, and uh, we have no plans to manufacture our own motors. Uh, we believe in in partnership and alliances, and we. One thing we believe is is to keep the focus. So um, we're a company uh, designing uh, trikes. Uh, we're not a motor company designing motors. I think it's a whole new skill set. We'd rather uh, you know uh, partner with uh, with specialists that that have the uh, the experience, the expertise at designing and, and the motors and making them make sure that they you know they meet the uh, the environmental standards and all that and the, the, the performance and use and partner with these guys like we did with BMW uh, for the T-Rex and like we do with uh, Harley Davidson right now uh, for the V13R um, so um, Steve is asking, Steve is asking um, what kind of returns do you expect uh, Steve, that's a tricky question. We expect uh, the valuation, obviously, of the company to multiply um, multiple times. You know, uh, it, it's kind of tough to uh, to um, to predict, but uh, from the numbers that we have, uh, you know, we expect big return on investment. And uh, will you ever go public? Um, the, um, the, 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 the idea is to be able, once we do our, our uh, crowdfunding, we're gonna have hopefully uh, maybe thousands of investors. So technically we're gonna be a semi-public company 
the idea is to be quoted on an exchange so that people can have um, uh, rapidly uh, freely tradable shares on one hand and on the other hand you know our expansion is in the US is the first step towards a, a global expansion which obviously uh, requires a lot of capital so being a, uh, a listed company helps helps you know raise more capital in the future um, I, I read that you're looking to use electric uh, powering your vehicle. Is this the next one? The next, the, the, the vehicle that we're talking about here at $30,000 is, is, is not scheduled to be an electric vehicle. Obviously, uh, we're, uh, we're um, in the gas uh, vehicle right now. Uh, we do have a, uh, a prototype uh, in the works of an electric uh, vehicle, an electric trike. Um, and uh, we haven't mentioned this uh, you know, because we think there's significant challenges in being able to offer a, um, a, a, a trike with, uh, that can serve the purpose of a trike, which is a recreational uh, vehicle. Uh, remember, we're not doing um, a, a day to day, a daily driver car that people take and go uh, do 20 miles or 10 miles to their office and come back. We're making uh, recreational vehicles that people want to go for rides, you know, they'll do uh, 300 miles in a day, 400 miles in a day. So we need to, in the electric, we need to be able to come up with a solution that will pack enough power and enough juice so that people can do their daily ride and have fun and, and you know, uh, be in a group and stuff like that. I don't think the technology is there yet for us to do that, but we're, we start to work on this so we can at least uh, get some experience in the electrification and see uh, how it goes. Um, we're looking at that down the line, but as, as a uh, product for now, for tomorrow, um, that's it. Um, Christian is, uh, is asking, can an investor become a potential franchisee? Of course, um, uh, you know, if you're in the, uh, if you're in the, uh, the car business or if you're in the uh, power sports business and you have interest in becoming a franchisee, uh, whether you're a, an investor or not, uh, you know, we're, we want to talk to you. We, uh, and if you're an investor, obviously, uh, I think it's, it's, uh, it's the best of both worlds because you're going to be aligning your, uh, your agenda with our agenda. And so we, it's better chances of success. Um, what else? What else? Got many questions here. Um, what is the model for your boutique franchise investment fees, etc.? cetera? Uh, the uh, boutique actually, uh, we're looking at that on a, uh, on a corporate store level. So we're talking about a couple of hundred thousand dollars of investment based on a real estate situation. And uh, the, the main, the, the big chunk of the investment is the uh, inventory that people have to carry that we have to carry in each boutique to be able to, have demo vehicles, rental fleet, uh, vehicles ready for sales and stuff like that. So um, if somebody is interested in partnering up with us uh, to be uh, in a boutique, then uh, again, you know, uh, send us an email. We can, uh, we can uh, have those discussion offline. Um, Howard, again, a few questions about opening up dealership. That's uh, interesting news. Uh, the parameters to open a dealership. Do you have future plans? Yes, we do have future plans. As, as mentioned in the uh, presentation, we hope to have about um, 60, that's six zero franchisee stores uh, in the US uh, and um, that will work hand in hand with the 40 uh, Campania boutique stores, uh, obviously in different territories. And so that our, our goal is to cover the U.S. with 100 stores, which is only uh, if you do the math, you know, two two stores a uh, per state. So um, it, it's it's quite uh, reasonable, I think. Um, the uh, again uh, another franchisee information. I invite you to uh, send us an email at at sales or equity or info at Campania Motors. Uh, to whomever is interested in uh, getting more information or, fr or franchisee kits and stuff like that, 
we have this uh, right away available, you know. I think um, that's it. Is uh, we have one time for a uh, we have maybe a five minutes for a few more questions. Well, are you know questions regarding maybe the the new vehicle or the investment or uh, are you open to new technologies to assist in the sale of trikes that can be added? Uh, yeah, I guess uh, we're open, but uh, we've got our uh, product lined up. So uh, again, all those you know, potential one-to-one uh, -one relationship, send us an email and we'll get in touch and we'll start a conversation here. All right, so I guess uh, we're, uh, we're up, uh, our time's up and thank you everyone for uh, taking your time. I hope you had uh, information that's necessary to help you decide. And I hope to uh, be able to see you as uh, shareholders of our uh, business. Thank you, everyone, and have a good day.